Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into the Real Housewives of Potomac. So we open up with Candace continuing her conversation with the producers. And she's like, no, you will not have my husband to be the Michael Darby of this season. And when she called Giselle ankles and neck, Candace is not my favorite, but she... She about to pull me over to her side. It's hard right now, but I'm holding on. Wendy trying to go into business with Peter Thomas. She better know what she's doing because she's going to lose her money and her husband fooling around <laughs> with Peter. <laughs> Y'all, why are they so invested in Mia's like, life? Like, if the girl said she was sick, she was sick. Just say, girl, we hope you get better. We just going to go out to eat. And did y'all notice how many words Robin is saying this season? Like, she said a lot of words in this episode. Like, is this what we got to go for? Like, she she's talking more. She's talking loud. They must have told Robin that she better pull it together or this would be her last season. Y'all remind me what happened with Robin and Wendy. Because for Robin to sit there and talk about, you know, get the kids together and then exclude Wendy's kids. And then for her to say, I can have a life without Wendy ever. Like, I forgot what happened with them. And I don't know how Candace going to retrieve eggs in her kitchen. Like, I don't understand IVF, right? So, I, I don't understand that. But it just seemed like she didn't go far enough for me. I mean, I don't know, child. Did y'all find that conversation with Karen and Ray v crazy at the nail shop? Like, she was like, baby, you know, you said I could have eye candy. And Ray was clear, that's all you can have is eye candy. Y'all think the grand dame doing a little bit more than that? Child. Y'all, I am willing to bet everything that Michael Darby went and revised that prenup as soon as they made that prenup. Because I'm going to tell you something. She has some different energy when she announced that divorce. She didn't have this type of energy like I need help buying a house. It's some stuff that has happened. Robbins and Juan's house is beautiful. And when she brought up the prenup, it seemed like he was okay with it. But what he was not okay with is her bringing up his infidelity. She had to stop that. I really hope Wendy can get her hair situation straight because she does have a stressful lifestyle. Her mother is stressful. So she's been under that all her life. So I wish her well. And why does Robin feel like she needs to know so much of Mia's business? Why does she feel like I don't know you? Girl, you don't have to know anything. Just talk to me. I can't with Robin. So Giselle is over to Karen's and Robin is meeting with Lil Bit and her husband. Did y'all notice how Robin was throwing Giselle under the bus? Like, girl, come on with it. Now, I don't blame a little bit. You're not going to make my husband the storyline of the season. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.